Hey y'all, good morning everybody, and welcome to Get Up and Move for today. It's Thursday morning, and uh, I think it's Thursday morning, yep. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get our balance and our core on today a little bit more, all right? Um, and work our shoulders. So, this is also gonna work and help with your posture and uh, get that blood flowing. Okay, if you happen to have any kind of a weight, even your water bottle, um, a bag, maybe not a bag, but a shoe, a wine bottle, something, a stapler, whatever you have. If you have weights, then that's awesome. None of these actually require you to have any extra added weight, but you can, okay? So I'm gonna show you what it looks like with weights. Our first exercise, we're gonna be doing a figure eight. So this is gonna work our shoulders, okay? It should work the back, it's gonna work the chest a little bit indirectly and um, our core. Okay, so what you're gonna do is I'll give you two options as well. We're gonna start with our feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width apart for a good support system, a good balance support, all right? We're gonna take whatever we have with our weight, we're gonna straighten our arms and just let our arms fall in front of our, in front of our body, okay? Then we're gonna bring our arms up, okay? So keeping those arms straight. So what I don't want you to do here is it's gonna start to be a little bit easy to extend through that low back and push your hips forward, all right? Especially as you might get, if you're getting tired. So what you wanna do is keep the belly button pulled in and up, okay? As soon as I do that, pulling the belly button in, I have that posterior, uh, that pelvic tilt that I'm looking for, not the overextended one, okay? But finding that neutral spine position. Shoulders are down away from the ears. This is also going to be a challenge. So hiding your armpits is what I like to say. Then we're going to draw a figure eight. Okay? So whichever way you want to start is fine. Okay, so I'm not twisting, okay? I'm really drawing a huge figure eight, twisting my um, waist and torso. I'm just keeping my arms straight, okay? As controlled as possible, keeping the belly button tucked in. All right, you're gonna do 10 to 20 of those. Again, you can drop the weights, you don't need weights at all, um, but you can if you've got them, all right? The other option here I'm gonna give you is if you want a little bit extra, take those feet out, a little bit nice wide stance. You can take your toes, point them out at 45 degrees, press those knees out, and then drop the booty down. So, you can do this while you're in this nice low hold position, this sumo squat position where you're really working those legs isometrically gaining strength that's a whole body move right there okay so next move we're gonna work our balance hey okay, and our shoulders so it's called the sunrise if you only have one weight you can just transfer the weight okay, or if you have two weights two water bottles something of equal equal weight please you can use those so you're gonna anchor through one of your feet so I'm gonna start with anchoring through my left leg. What I don't wanna do is drop that hip out as I lift my right leg. So you wanna squeeze those glutes, pull the hips level, okay? Make sure, and then you're gonna lift one leg. If you want a bit more challenge, you can bring that knee up, extend that leg out, or you can even take that knee over to the side. All right, so this is gonna really challenge the balance. So with those weights, you're gonna take the palms, Face them forward, shoulders down away from the ears and pull back, so squeezing between those shoulder blades. And then we're just going to lift those dumbbells up overhead, nice and slow and controlled from the side here. Pulling the belly button in, squeezing the glutes, okay, challenging that balance. So you're gonna do 10 to 20 of those each leg. Okay, last but not least, you can keep your weights. We're just gonna do a nice reverse lunge. The reason that I'm asking you to do a reverse lunge, instead of a forward lunge, we're stepping back, is because it's way, way, way nicer on that knee. So as you step forward into a front lunge, forward lunge, oftentimes, especially when we're tired or taking a lot of weight, we'll step forward and we put a lot of forward pressure on that kneecap, all right? And that can really hurt the knee. So, what we're gonna do instead, I'll show you from the side to start, is we're gonna take a step back. So I'm gonna anchor through my right foot this time. I'm gonna step back with my left leg. So with the lunge, roll the shoulders back. Guys, <laughs> the joys of doing this live with twin toddlers. Okay, 
So take a step back. You want to take a step back straight, okay, and I'll show you from the front so it's easier to see. We're going to take a nice, relatively big step back. Hey, what I want you to think about is drive that heel down into the floor, roll the shoulders back and down. With the lunge, you can have a slight forward lean with that upper body, okay? You don't have to be super upright and straight. Puts actually puts a lot of forward pressure on the hip joint. Uh, that might not feel that great, okay? So slight pinch forward. You're gonna drop that back knee towards the floor, but really what I want is this back foot is only here for a little bit of balance. So you're gonna drive the front heel into the ground. Think about really putting your weight there. Okay, bending, bringing that back knee as close to the ground as possible. If you can make it over here, all right, without pain, then that's okay. If that step is too far back, all right, and you're having pain in this back knee at all, you wanna shift your weight forward and just really focus in on not using this back leg. Okay, even if it's here, that is awesome, all right? Then you're gonna step back to the center, then alternate. So I'll show you from the front view, rolling the shoulders down and back, belly button in, slight forward lean with the torso, soft bend through the knees, feet are hip distance apart. I'm gonna step straight back with my right leg, like I'm on cross country ski tracks. So step back, okay, front weight. That uh, weight is in the front foot, driving my heel into the ground. That back leg is there for a little bit of support, stepping forward nice and controlled. Alternating, you can do 10 each leg, depending on how much time you have. You also don't have to have it with weights, all right, if you just wanna focus in. Hey, if you need some balance support, you can grab a counter or a chair or a couch, or just leave those hands in front. Okay, so again, remembering to work that front leg. All right, team, that's it for your get up and move today. <laughs> I clearly need to go break up a little fight here. And uh, hi, Danny. <laughs> awesome. So good. So good to see your name. Um, anyways, guys, that's it. So I hope you have a fabulous day. Let me know. <laughs> this is definitely a workout today. So I will be for sure to let you know how you can make this into a great workout with those three moves. Okay, better go. All right, guys. Have a great day. <laughs> Bye.